You come over, look at the engine cover, and you're like, oh, cool. It's a couple of Allen, zip, zip. Then you're like, what? Is the engine mount really over the top of the valve cover? Yes, it is. So it won't be too bad. Just a few extra steps. We will be moving all the motor mount stuff. So we'll want to get a jack underneath with a block of wood on the oil pan just to keep this side of the engine suspended. We'll be removing these bolts here. That bracket comes off. There's a bolt here for this torque strut. Doesn't have to come off there. It can just move out of the way. So then we'll want to move the power steering pump. A couple of 10 millimeter bolts. Ratcheting wrench works really good on these because the limited room. These top ones are 16s. And this is an 18. I lied, these 10 millimeter bolts do not have to come off. This can just be moved out of the way, pulled up and over. That'll give us enough room for this bolt. 18 millimeter. So in hindsight, I'd do the torque strut bolt first, the side bolt, before doing this top mount. But we are off, so now we can take this whole bracket piece off from above the valve cover. So now it's a series of 14 millimeter bolts and two 10 millimeter for these ground straps. That one's really tight, so I'm gonna get a breaker bar. I'm gonna get this electrical harness out of the way. There's two connectors here, one in the middle, and then the rest are the ignition coils. Now that looks like a regular valve cover. All we have left are the ignition coils to pull off, the two hoses, and then a series of 10 millimeter bolts around it, and it should pop off. All right, so we got it off. Just a few things to keep in mind. PCV hose, super brittle. Uh, that wasn't gonna survive at all. I started pulling it off and it just, it broke. So keep that in mind. This is 3 8 diameter. I can't get a hold of a pre-shaped one, but the auto parts store sells oil cooler lines. So it's a hose designed for oil. And that's what these PCV hoses see a lot of crankcase blow by gases. So that's what we're getting to replace this. Just a regular line, we're gonna just kinda keep it long and have it bend naturally. So that's important to keep in mind. All right, and then the next thing, this is Notorious Nissan. As you can see, oil all over this ignition coil. That was cylinder number one. This is cylinder number two, same thing. Just a lot of oil in that ignition coil. The other two were okay, so that's why I recommend getting an entire valve cover. If you notice, let me see if I can show you. Let me turn the light on and I'll show you. So you see right there, that crack, that's allowing all that oil in. If you look at cylinder number two right there, another crack. These seals are not replaceable on these plastic valve covers. So you have to get a whole new valve cover to replace those seals. So that's why I recommend getting a whole new valve cover. Because even if your spark plug wells were not filling up with oil, and you're doing this job just to replace the gasket, you do all this work and then a year later, these seals go out and then it starts filling up your spark plug wells. Well now you have to do this all over again. So just go ahead, get a new valve cover altogether, and you won't be doing this job twice. So now prepping our head surface for installation. Plastic razor blade, and we want to scrape from the inside out. We don't want to get any of this grit inside the engine. Go all the way around, 
In these corners, there's RTV. We want to get that off as much as possible. We'll be reapplying RTV in four places here, the other side, and then this side here, and then the other side. When your surface is clean, you can take some brake clean spray on a rag and make sure you get your corners where you're going to lay that RTV. You want those nice and oil free. So we went ahead and laid those. We use 90 minute gasket maker. You use what you feel. I really like this stuff. And then on the spark plug well seals, I like to put just a little silicone paste. Not a lot. Just coat it a little so it slides right on. And now we're ready for installation. So if your spark plug wells are filled up like this vehicle, try to soak as much as you can with the rag. Then we'll go ahead and pull the plug and all that oil left over will fill inside the cylinder. Then we'll put a rag over the top, crank it over, and that'll push any of that oil out. We don't want it to hydro lock. Too much oil in there may hydro lock the engine. We don't want that, so we'll crank the engine over. You see that's a lot on the end of that rag. Just look at all that oil. This thing's been leaking for a while. Once you wipe all the oil off, the spark plugs should still be good. But if they need to be changed, now's the perfect time. So now we can put our plugs and coils back on. Now we can put our motor mount on. If you need, you can use a pry bar just to push the engine back a little. You'll feel the engine gives pretty easily. You'll be like, oh, okay. Not messing up anything. Have to jack the engine up just a little more. There we go. Yeah, it's just going into aluminum, so you don't want to cross-thread anything. Alright, and then we can lower the engine, and it'll fall right back into place. So we get this motor mount lined up back where it was. It took a little bit of pry bar action. This engine actually sways quite a bit without this motor mount bolted down. Then once I had it tight, I just loosened them back up and then the engine kind of shifted a little and that put the bolts right back where they were from the beginning and then tightened them back down. So now we're gonna go back, torque everything and the last thing we have is that hose to replace and the engine cover back on. Before we put the engine cover back on, we'll start it up just make sure we don't have any leaks. So here's the hose, I just bought it long. You can put it on your PCV nipple there and then just cut it to the size. It won't look exactly like factory, but it'll work just fine. And then cut it there, put it on, you're done. When you buy hose, it's important that the hose is made for this kind of harsh environment. So that, that is important. Coolant hose may not be enough. And there we are with the clamps on. In a few heat cycles, this will eventually conform to this shape. This is what I have. This is the bracket here. These are the four bolts that we took off the main bracket. It looks like that one is 76. That's Newton meters, something else, foot pounds. So the two end ones are 76 and the two middle ones are 37. So how that looks over here, 76 on the end. 
two metal 37. Then our torque strut bolt is right there, 30 foot pounds. I could not find torque specs for this bracket here. So based on the size of the bolts and how they felt coming off, use your judgment there. I could not find anything. That's the oil burning off from those two spark plugs. All right, there you go. That's how you can replace a valve cover gasket or valve cover on a Nissan 2.5 liter. This is an Altima. There's a few other Nissans out there that utilize this 2.5 with the same setup, the engine mount bracket right over the top of the valve cover. Really not too difficult, just an extra step to remove that bracket. Well, once you have it removed, easy peasy. All right, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. See you on the next one.